Welcome back to Wall Street Training's case study, second part of our corporate valuation and corporate finance module. In the first half, if you remember, you learned the basics of corporate valuation methodologies, trading comps, deal comps, premiums pay, discounted cash flow analysis, breakup analysis. We will now take each one of those components, incorporating with our discussion on capital structure, enterprise value, as well as leverage and the basics of corporate finance and the optimal mix between debt and equity. We will now take all of those ideas and crystallize it into this case study here in which we will analyze the acquisition of UDS, Ultramarine Diamond Shamrock, an independent refiner in the U.S., being acquired by Valero Energy back in 2001. For that, let's first turn to our first slide, our football field. This football field is accurately named because after you spread all of these numbers, it looks just like a football field. This football field on the left-hand axis has the valuation methodologies that were utilized. We looked at the 52-week trading range. That is what the public markets have valued this firm, this stock at. We also look at premiums paid, premiums that paid in excess of the current stock price for previously done acquisitions. We'll look at multiples analysis based on precedent comparable transaction premiums. This is our traditional deal comps via multiples. And also our analysis of selected publicly traded companies. That would be our trading comps. Now note that we did have two sets of trading comp numbers for management estimates, management projections, as well as Wall Street analyst estimates. The reason here is that the management projections were slightly more optimistic than the Wall Street estimates, and therefore you can also see we had a significantly different range. We also looked at the discounted cash flow analysis, breakup analysis, and ultimately our ultimate reference range that we felt the company was worth between this and that amount. So the 52-week trading range traded anywhere between as low as $22 to $45. The current stock price, as of the time that this analysis was done and presented to the board of directors, May 2, 2001, was $41.24. The offer that was eventually accepted was, at that time, $54.15, a pretty nice premium. Based on the acquisitions that were done in the previous sector, previously done in this sector, as well as all deals, our stock should have been worth anywhere between 50, 45 and $55. Same thing for the deal comps based on multiples. Our trading comps said we might be worth anywhere between 45 and $65. Based on analyst estimates, which are lower, we would have been anywhere between 40 and $50. Discounted cash analysis of 55 to 70. Breakup analysis of 47 to 58. And ultimately we said that we believe the fair price of this stock in a Deal acquisition mode could be anywhere worth between $45 and $60. Now, folks, my job to you is to prove to you every single one of these numbers, the high and the low end ranges. For that, let's turn to our next slide and for a discussion about trading comps. In this